what are the current trends in AI research and development? Now, this question is the one question I'm most concerned about that is likely to date faster than we think. And that's in large measure because of the rapid pace of uh, AI development and change. Um, and, and this is being shaped by a whole broad set of considerations, technological advancements, uh, shift in academic focus, uh, industry demands. Uh, but you know, some of the more recent trends in AI research and development uh, as of this date is around foundation models. Right, so these are the frontier models. These are large-scale models uh, that, that you know, like the ChatGPT models from OpenAI and models from Google, AWS, and others, uh, and Tropic. Uh, so these models are constantly being fine-tuned for a whole variety of tasks. Um, you know, recent efforts uh, have been to sort of focus these models more on efficient, uh, interpretable, multimodality, and, and perhaps even make them less data hungry. So I see a lot of advancements in, in the, these model constructs. Um, there's the broader question about AI ethics and bias uh, mitigation. Um, as AI becomes more and more integrated into our everyday life, uh, there is an increasing focus on ensuring that these systems are ethical, they're fair, and they're, they're, they're transparent. Um, so a lot of research is going into focusing on developing methods to detect, mitigate, uh, and remove some of these biases that might exist in AI models or how those models are deployed. Uh, quantum machine learning. Uh, this is almost a combination of quantum computing with machine learning, and it holds a, a significant promise uh, of processing information in a fundamentally new way. Uh, there's a lot of research that's exploring how quantum algorithms can speed up machine learning and conversely, how machine learning can help uh, uh, in quantum computational tasks, uh, particularly in processing complex models. Uh, there's the area of what we call neurosymbolic AI, and this approach combines neural networks with symbolic AI. And what it does is it tries to create systems that can reason more abstractly and understand context better, or what are called nested questions. And you know, for example, the recent O1 models from uh, OpenAI is, is an example of that. And this, this blend uh, in, in many ways could lead AI to understand causality, to understand more nested embedded uh, questions and queries, not just simple correlations or pattern extrapolation. Uh, AI for climate change, uh, this is uh, an area that is getting more and more mature. Uh, it is being in, uh, applied in the area of environmental science, uh, modeling uh, you know, climate change scenarios, uh, optimizing energy consumption, uh, and developing generally more sustainable uh, practices. Um, it, there, there, there's significant amount of work that's going into uh, assisting you know, aspects like tracking deforestation, pollution levels, and, and biodiversity. Um, AI in healthcare, uh, it's, a, it's a path we've gone on and is uh, certainly continuing to evolve. So I expect there be significant advances in areas like drug discovery and personalized medicine uh, and medical diagnostics. Uh, all of these are continuing to accelerate and become more compelling. Um, it is also being used uh, to predict patient outcomes. Uh, it's helping define uh, more optimized treatments, uh, as well as the, uh, the use case that's been around for a while, which is better image diagnosis. Um, and then the broader challenge. I've often talked about the challenge within AI, which is explaining AI or explainability or transparency. So this notion of what's called XAI, explainable AI. Uh, there is a significant push by a lot of uh, the companies uh, to develop uh, systems whose actions can be understood easily by humans. And this is a crucial development in, in critical sectors, certainly like healthcare and autonomous driving, uh, that have significant impact around the decision that's being made. Uh, edge AI, as processing moves more towards edge because the hardware uh, is improving, uh, that edge processing becomes more important. So you see almost this decentralized nature uh, to, to sort of the classic uh, centralized cloud ecosystem. Now, this helps reduce latency for certain workloads that certainly cannot be curated uh, due to its uh, 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 you know, time challenge. Uh, so processing at the edge uh, can also help increase privacy. So data is not curated, allows real-time decision making, um, uh, that becomes, you know, very important. Um, AI's impact on cybersecurity. So again, as cybersecurity threats evolve, um, so do the tools to combat them. Uh, AI is being used to create threats, but also being used uh, to help detect threats 
uh, automate responses, predict vulnerabilities uh, before uh, they can be uh, exploited. You know, a field that came into fame with OpenAI's ChatGPT, the generative AI ecosystem, I expect this trend to continue to create new content, create better images, uh, general enhancement around text or simulations, uh, tools like DALI, Midjourney. Um, you know, some of these are just examples of AI uh, generating more fo photorealistic images uh, from textual descriptions. So I see an overall advancement in those uh, areas. Um, now, these trends do highlight both the broad applications of AI and also the complex challenges it faces, uh, you know, driving uh, you know, forward both the technical innovation um, as well as some of the important debates that need to be had uh, about the role in our future.